Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and its introduction tutorial for Ragdoll Animator 2. In this video we will prepare Animal Physical Rig, I will show you how to tweak automatically detected bones chains, and also how to prepare whole rig without any automatic assistance, and show a few nice settings for the quadrupeds. Ok, let's go! So first I will add the model on a scene, it's born made by Blink, and add Ragdoll Animator 2. First we will try using the automatic rig detection, which can go wrong for generic rigs, but if skeleton have good names and the structure is not too complex, it can do a lot of job for you. To make automatic detection a bit more effective, we can provide the hips bone. Thanks to that algorithm will not need to guess which bone is hips, so there we have it. And it says that it recognized the model as humanoid, which clearly it's not humanoid, it's quadruped, but it looks we have all chains ready, like core, arms and legs. Let's take full look on it, and it seems right, now let's check colliders. And yeah, it applied humanoid script for the headbone collider size, so we need to tweak it manually. Let's select core chain, and I will just quickly fix it, just for a quick preview, because in a while we will do whole rig setup from the scratch without any automatic assistance. But here I want to show how quick you can set up the rig when automatic detection is finding all bones chains properly. Ok, head is ready. Now I will switch to setup and use ragdoll size multiplier. <laughs> but make the head collider smaller actually. Alright, now hit play. And here we have it. And one more thing, I will change the arm type chains to be legs, so the kinematic fit feature will work with the front legs. I will also let loose the hips. And there we have nice physical rig, ready for further tweaks. But now let's reset everything and let's do setup completely from scratch. It will be really helpful for you if you do setup and the automatic detection is not finding all bones properly. So now we will start with add bones chain button instead of auto finding. And let's find anchor bone, which in most cases is just the hips bone. So parent of the spine and legs. Let's drag and drop it here and add the rest of the spine bones. Hit add bone, again. With some rigs, when you hit add bone, it can select a shoulder bone, so beware. And as you remember how we set it up the model in the first tutorial, we can skip few spine bones here as well. So I will just remove the bones which seems to be too dense. Yeah, now it's nice optimized rig. But you would go with all bones if you really need a very precise animation matching with physics. Yeah, so core chain is ready, now let's add next one. And ragdoll animator suggests to be left arm. But let's already change it to left leg. Ok, so let's add first bone. And by the names I guess it will be hip L. Yeah, let's add next ones. And rename to be left leg. Add another bones chain. Change arm to leg. and drag and drop right leg bone. Add the rest. Alright, now front legs. Let me quickly add them. And now tail chain. Let's rename it. And I see first tail bone here. Add next ones, and that's enough. Let's take a look on the whole rig. Right, now we can focus on the colliders. And you see that the default settings are pretty run. With unselected chain you can hit right mouse button on the colliders bookmark and you can trigger automatic setup. Yeah, it did initial setup for us, but if you would like to make automatic setup just for one chain, you can select it and then hit right mouse button on the colliders bookmark button. You can also trigger automatic setup for a single bone by hitting right mouse button on the collider icon. 
Okay, now I will quickly adjust colliders the same way we did it in the first tutorial. And for the head we will use additional collider. Now it's turn for the legs. Alright, I will also add collider for the hair there. Okay, it's almost ready. Now let's ensure that mass values are not crazy somewhere. Let's check legs. Okay, this one to one. Oh, this F4. So let's actually tweak the first leg bone to be a bit different. Here more. Okay. Now front. A bit less. The two. Now tail. Oh, tail have a bit too much mass. So let's use this slider. One more around here. Okay, and now core. Yeah, it needs a bit more mass for the other bone, so let's tweak it. Right. Let's change reference mass to be bigger, actually, and test it. Okay, it's reacting as intended, but let's apply some settings, like kinematic fit. And let hips loose. And let's support it a bit with hard matching. There we have nice physical rig. Now you can move it around, rotate, hit tail, tweak all individual settings to customize it more, and play animations. If you still want to keep keyframe animations intact and blend ragdoll animator only when it's needed, you can try using blend on collision feature. And you can eliminate the front feet overlapping with the floor if you enable apply positions and use all spine bones in a chain. Hmm, you can also get better kinematic feet when you use extra foot bone, so more bones are affected by the physics now. And last thing, you can enable position hard matching. It can also improve animation match, but it will make bones more stiff. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. In the next ones we will focus on the play mode physics settings. I hope this video was helpful for you. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.